Hey, it's Dr. Story. I'm going to show you a great recipe that's going to lower your blood pressure and make you a ton healthier. So this can be a little snack or it can be something on the side with a normal meal. It really takes a very short period of time. You're going to be amazed at how well this works for your blood pressure. So let me show you what the ingredients are. We're going to have some baby spinach so get some organic baby spinach. You're going to get some garlic. I've got some olive oil here, and I have two types of olive oil. I have kind of a, a lighter cooking olive oil. This is just a Bertoli, and I'll put some links down below if I could find them for you. And then I have locally, they have some organic, um, high, really high quality olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna use that as a finisher. And then for fun, I'm gonna put some red chili flakes in it. And then just for taste, I'm going to put some, I have some cashews, that's optional if you want. And then a little salt and pepper. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so step one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some garlic and see if you can name the movie when I start chopping the garlic up of what movie I'm imitating. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some garlic and you got to get to the main part here, so we're just gonna tear this stuff off. So I'm gonna use two pieces of garlic here, and the way I'm gonna do it, the little end piece here, I'm just gonna chop off right there, because I don't like that part. And then, the way to really get the garlic, the peel to come off, is just put your knife right there, slam it down real gentle, and the skin just, ex just comes right off nice and easy just like so it takes a little art to know how much pressure to use so now you tell me what movie I'm imitating as I chop the garlic and every time I chop garlic I always think of this particular movie is you want to get it as thin as humanly possible now in the movie he used a razor blade and got it so thin you could literally see through the garlic. You tell me what movie that was. Now you watch how quick this recipe works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of olive oil in my pan and then I'm going to take the garlic and just put the garlic in just like so. Now the key to doing this well is as you turn the flame on it's going to, I mean you're going to turn it on a very high flame. What you want is you want to see when that garlic starts to kind of sizzle a little bit. And you want to keep your eye on it so when you start to notice the olive oil starts to bubble a little bit and the garlic looks like it's cooking, that's when you're going to throw the garlic in. And only, I'm sorry, the uh, spinach in. Garlic has in it something called allicin. And what allicin does is it does a couple things. Number one, it helps with the production of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide will help dilate the blood vessels. If the blood vessels are dilated, your blood pressure goes down. Also what allicin does is it helps basically thin your blood. It makes it less able to clot. So less likely that you're going to have some clotting. So now I can see the garlic is starting to bubble. So watch this. I'm going to take the this baby spinach and I'm going to put it in and it's going to start cooking. Now how do you know, look how much spinach we're going to use. I'm going to use the whole bag here. I'm going to put a little bit more garlic, uh, olive oil on and this is the light um, olive oil. I'm going to put the quality olive oil in as it starts to cook. Now the spinach itself has two things. The first is the spinach has a tremendous amount of nitrates and those nitrates are going to help convert into our body to nitric oxide and that nitric oxide is what helps dilate the blood vessels. Spinach does have oxalates, but by cooking them, you're reducing the amount of oxalates. But if you have kidney disease or you tend to have kidney stones, then obviously be careful with 
uh, foods that have oxalates in them. But for the, the majority of people, they don't have that. Um, this is actually a great recipe. Now you see how it's starting to become green. I'm just gonna put in, just for taste, a handful of cashews. And I'm gonna take some of my red chili and pour it in there just like that to flavor. We've got our pepper. See, just throw that pepper in there. And a little bit of salt just to taste. And you just keep doing this until the spinach is kinda ready. And it actually looks like it's ready. Isn't that amazing? Look how fast that was. And that is one healthy food for your blood pressure. And just for a little bit of taste, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil on there that's really high quality, and that gives it a nice, perfect flavor.